some of you may choose to use Adobe Spark as an alternative to Premiere Pro. Adobe Spark can be downloaded as an app on your smartphone or tablet. You can also use a browser-based version of Spark like I'm going to show you here in this tutorial. Simply navigate to spark.adobe.com. Once we get there, you're going to be asked how you want to sign on to Spark. Just continue with Google or create an Adobe ID and log on with that. For our purposes, I'm going to be logging on with my Cal State University San Bernardino email. Spark is actually three different apps, Spark Page, Spark Post, and Spark Video. I'm going to be using Spark Video for our example today. Once our page opens, we want to come up here and create a project. Click on this, come down here to Video and select Video. As it says right here, every great story starts somewhere. Tell us about your idea or title. You can always change it later. For this tutorial, I've sourced some video and images from the web that I'm going to be using with my Spark story today. It's about big cats, so that's what I'm going to call it today. And then I hit Next. When this page opens up, you can look at all of the templates that Spark has to offer, or you can just start from scratch. That's what I like to do. So I'm going to just hit this button, Start from Scratch. This short video will pop up. It's about a minute long. You might want to watch this. It'll give you some good ideas on how to get started. For now, I'm just going to click the X and get rid of this. The first thing I'm going to do is select a theme. By default, this is the one that comes up for me. If I go up here to the top right corner and select theme, I've used this one before. I'm just going to select this. It's got a nice white background. Getting started in Spark is really easy to do. You just need to start adding the images and the video that you've sourced from the internet. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to import and work with still images and pictures.